All right, we're gonna start using Godot in this video and making our maze program. So we need a font and graphics from the last video. And then let's start up Godot. We want to make a new project. And then I'm going to make a new folder. And then inside of that folder, I am going to make a Godot and a source folder. I like keeping them separate because then I don't need to mess with an ignore file to make sure that Godot doesn't constantly reprocess stuff. So copy that uh, folder name over and then let's call this made CPP. And let's start her up. So let's start a 2D scene for the first one, and we'll call it main, and then let's save it quick, and run, and select main as our scene that we're gonna run. And we get a window running, so everything's working. Now we're going to copy over the font, just pick one, it doesn't really matter, and then we want to copy over our graphics. And you can copy them using Explorer, or you could copy them over into the Godot file system there. And then we want to do some project settings. So let's set up some physics layers. We're going to have a player. And then we're going to have walls. And we're going to have an exit. So we'll have those. And the window, I'm going to do 1920 by 1080. And I'm not going to have it resizable. I'm going to have a borderless full screen. And that you can pick whatever resolution and such you want, but that's all I'm going to use. And then let's make a couple nodes for holding our walls. So we're going to call this one inner walls. And then we're going to duplicate it. Uh, Control D will duplicate outer walls. And then let's start a new scene. We're going to do a custom node for this, and it's going to be kinematic body 2D. And this will be called player. And then we want to add a collision shape, a collision polygon. And then we also want to add a sprite for our stickman. And then we want on our player, the collision, it is a player and it interacts with walls and exits, but not players. And then let's save it again. And let's drag our stick man over for the sprite. And we don't want it centered. And then collision polygon. We are going to draw our polygon here. And we're just going to draw around it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you can move these where they're placed after, you can add extra ones. It's pretty easy, so. And I'm sure I will mess something up, so I'll show you how to reposition them and add stuff as soon as I'm done drawing this little polygon here. Okay, so just click to add a point and then drag it to reposition. So let's fix stuff up a little bit, make this look decent, and it really doesn't actually matter that much, but this is the process. So let's save that, and then we also want a camera, and we want a background, so a texture rect. Uh, we're going to do this as a black background on the camera. This is not the way you'd normally do it, but this the background will follow around the camera. And then you want to reposition the camera above the player so that 
in the hierarchy so that it will show up behind him. And then we want to tile the background and let's make it 1920 by 1080. And then we want to position it at negative half of that, so minus 960 by minus 540. And then our guy should be pretty well centered on the black background. So we can, let's put our player above inner walls and outer walls. And so we want this order where it's going to draw the player first, then inner walls and then outer walls. Make a new scene. We're going to make this called wall, the node 2D base. And then we're going to add in a texture rect. And we'll make this one yellow. And let's add in a static body 2D. And then also we need our collision. So we're going to do a collision shape 2D. And it's going to be a rectangle. And then we want our, we're going to need to reposition it, but we want our extents. So click into the rectangle and then set extents to 64 by 64. And then for position, we want uh, 64, 64. And now you see it overlaps perfectly with the wall. And then let's turn off the collision shape so that it shows our pretty bright yellow wall. And we now have our static body. We need to set the collision. So it is a wall and not a player, and it interacts with player. And now we're done with our wall. So then let's instance in our wall for outer walls. And we're gonna make four of these, so control D to duplicate. You can also right click and there is a duplicate. And it also shows you the shortcut. We're going to have a north wall. And then we're going to go around the circle. So we're going to have a west wall. South and east. And then we want to set all of the positions. Do minus 128 by minus 128. And then for just the north and south wall, we want to set the scale to 11 on the X. And then the east and west walls, we're going to set the scale of seven on the Y. And then we need to move our south wall down to the right place in the south, so 640 Y. And then our east wall, we need to do the same for x, and an x of 11.52. And now we are in a box. Now let's make a new scene, a 2D scene, call it exit, and we're going to save it as exit. And then let's add in a texture rect, and basically this will be the same as the wall. Static body 2D and a collision shape. And then for our collision shape, well, let's set the texture rect to red. And then static body, now nah, collision shape, let's do the rectangle first. And the extents are 64 by 64. And then transform. Uh, 64 and 64 again for the position and then turn off the visibility of it and then static body we want the collision layer this is an exit not a player and it interacts with player and that's our exit so now let's instance in an exit and then let's position it we want 1024, 512 for the position. And then you'll see it's in the bottom corner there. And then we run it and it's not right. Uh, we need to go back to player and our camera. We need 
to set the current. And then we, now it looks right. We are centered on our guy with a background and everything. All right, that's the end of this video.